All right, our first topic that we're going to talk about today is Discovery 101 Ins and Outs, where I will be asking Mrs. Moore a set of questions. What is your school's mission? How is this incorporated into everyday learning? And I think this is the perfect way for us to get started um, because we want to keep our mission you know, in focus um, with everything that we do. So our mission, is centered on providing students with a place-based education. So we foster active, engaged learners. We want to connect learning to everyday lives. The students regularly participate um, in field work. Uh, I spoke to Mrs. Pavlovic just today, um, our naturalist, on some of the things she's been doing um, with our staff and our students. Uh, middle school recently applied um, their knowledge of physics uh, to outside um, and got to see force and motion um, and action with some playground equipment. Uh, so that really brought things uh, to life. And uh, nature walks have been taken by many of our teachers recently, even though things aren't uh, blooming yet here in the spring um, on the ground, but we do have things blooming on the trees. Um, and so we uh, had students identifying um, things blooming on the maple and the elm trees. Um, and then also when they were hiking, they were able to identify edible plants, um, such as the, the garlic mustard. Um, and then third graders recently were going um, on a hike and were exploring an area that Mrs. Pavlovic calls the salamander corner. And students were searching for salamanders under logs. They were finding slugs, centipedes. So we want, as I said, our mission is, you know, place-based education, but we want our students to be active and engaged in their environment, both here at school and in our community. Next question. What is the process for enrolling at your school? Do you charge tuition? Do classes fill up? That is a great question. And um, I think it's very a very common misunderstanding that um, our school uh, does not charge tuition. We are a free public school. So as long as uh, the student resides in the state of Indiana, then you are able to attend uh, discovery. So there's no um, in-state uh, geographic boundaries. So families do submit an application um, when they plan to enroll uh, to the grade they plan to enroll their child in. Um, each of our classrooms is set up so that in kindergarten we have 22 students um, in first grade that's the cap for each classroom. In first grade is 23 students and then grades uh, second and up um, approximately 25 students. So once the application is submitted, um, the student is placed on the age appropriate uh, grades wait list. However, um, in kindergarten, you know, we do have the lottery. Um, and then if a student is not chosen or selected in the lottery, they're then put on the wait list. And so students who are placed on the wait list um, and that continues for first through eighth grade. Um, it is uh, by when the application was received. And then we admit students when space is available. Next question. How is your school organized as in the elementary and middle school sections? Yeah, so we have three teachers in each grade, K through five. We do have a separate wing that is designated for fourth and fifth grade. We try to create an intermediate school experience. Um, and then our middle school is organized by five teachers and that's a dedicated teacher for each subject. Uh, students rotate through each of the classrooms with, in middle school with their homeroom. Next question. Do students have lunch and recess? Yes, and so our lunch is 25 minutes. Um, recess is 30 minutes. Our outdoor space is unique 
um, in that it's a natural, it has a natural play space. So we have a, a Gaga ball pit, which is very different and, and the kids love it. Um, we have zip line, a, a zip line that's probably the, the most favorite thing. Um, swings, uh, students play and build in the woods with sticks. Um, so just we incorporate, you know, outside of the traditional playground equipment that you would see um, at other schools, we do um, incorporate a natural play space as well. Next question. What is your school's approach to discipline? So we at Discovery focus on positive reinforcement. Um, we find that students rise to the expectations um, you have for them. So um, we encourage those who are making good choices and then others tend to follow. Um, we also believe in a program called Love and Logic, and that is put on by a company called Our Greater Good, um, and they are located locally in Valparaiso. Um, and what that program believes in is using empathy, um, developing um, positive relationships um, between adults and children, um, setting limits, and using choices. Um, the goal is to prevent um, and guide students to solve their own problems. Okay, now we're going to focus on academics. So now I'll be asking questions and Mrs. Panthe um, will be answering. What curriculum does your school use? We use a well-rounded curriculum focused on Indiana academic standards that emphasizes purposeful planning amongst our staff. Our curriculum centers on research-based practices and tools. Teachers focus on differentiating instruction to ensure all learners are successful here at Discovery. We also have a place-based content that includes standards based on environmental curriculum. This curriculum focuses on real-world approach to ensure our students are successful. Our place-based curriculum includes localized content, um, the Great Lakes Initiative, field work, learning experiences, community involvement and support, as well as sustainability, which is in our recycling and composting. Next question, please. What support services are provided for students who struggle academically? We have an RTI program, a response to intervention that services all students K through eight. We also have two special education teachers that service all grades as well as OT, PT and speech teachers to make sure that we have a well-rounded special education team. Next question, please. Do you offer services for students who are identified as high ability? Yes, we have a full-time licensed high ability teacher who provides instruction to identified students through a pullout program. Next question, please. Is Discovery a one-to-one -one school, which to help those that may not know, a one-to-one -one is would have one device for dedicated for each student? No, we are not a one-to-one -one school. Uh, however, we do have devices, Chromebooks, available for students at all times um, and all grade levels. Next question, please. Do students take standardized tests like the iLearn test? Yes, we do partake in Indiana standardized tests such as the iLearn and of course our third graders um, also are responsible to take the iRead 3 test. Um, besides those Indiana state requirements, we also partake in the STAR assessment, um, which is three times a year for our students, and it is grades K through 8. Next question, please. Oh, I'm sorry. We are now ready for the next session. So we are going on to student support. So again, I will be asking Mrs. Moore several questions and she will respond. First question. In addition to teachers, what other staff are available to work with and support students at Discovery? Yes, we have several um, additional staff who work with our students. One is our nurse. 
She is full time and she's on site all day. Um, she's here to assist with the day to day um, issues, but she also um, does other things such as conducting required um, screenings, hearing and vision for our students and provides um, additional programs such as a mobile dentist, which she brings on site. We have a full-time social worker. She provides character education programs such as student success skills. Um, she offers additional programs for specific grades such as Too Good for Drugs. Um, she meets with small groups of students and holds groups such as friendship groups. And she provides services for students who receive um, special education services. But she is available to all students and is a good resource for our families who are seeking uh, community resources as well. We also have a uh, librarian, full-time librarian. She holds weekly checkout times so our students have access to books um, at all times. She shares read alouds both in person and virtually to our students. She also um, is eager to seek out new books and series and organizes events such as the Readathon, which we held recently. We also have special education aides. Um, they assist our special education teachers with providing services to our students. And these are students in all areas of eligibility, um, such as learning disabilities and autism. Um, we do our best to provide a wide range of services and the aides assist in providing those services and supporting small group. Um, and that could even be with um, additional classrooms, such as assisting a child in gym. We also have RTI aides who provide interventions to students for um, the areas of English language arts and math. Um, and we do offer our RTI to all grades um, K through eight. And this is um, working with students in small group or one on one. And lastly, we have a school naturalist. And I feel this position is very unique um, and is a big part of um, us carrying out our mission. And our school naturalists assist with planning and preparing lessons, um, such as the nature hikes. Um, she helps gather materials and provides resources to assist our teachers with carrying out our mission. Um, and she even extends activities, you know, beyond, um, you know, what takes place outdoors. Um, an example would be when the fourth graders were recently um, tapping the maple sugar trees, um, she would help then sort through the data that was collected and help them um, analyze and make sense of it. Next question, please. Do students go to specials like music? Yes, uh, students attend art, music, uh, gym, technology, library. Th these classes, you know, are offered in addition to the regular school day. Um, recently, music, the music teacher um, was assisting fifth graders with learning how to play the ukulele. Um, you know, in technology, um, we had second graders learning how to do coding. Um, so we feel this really provides um, more than just the academics um, in the classroom, you know, we want to extend learning, you know, beyond academics and meet all students um, in their areas of interest. Next question, please. Do students participate in extracurricular activities such as sports and foreign languages? Yes, one of the great things about Discoveries is that we offer a wide range of activities um, beyond the school day. Um, with COVID, it has presented some challenges and we are starting to bring back some of the um, great activities that we have provided in the past. Um, we do have basketball club, badminton club, band, run club, um, art club. And, you know, foreign languages, even though we may not be incorporating that currently into our regular curriculum, you know, we have had opportunities in the past for um, pursuing foreign language through our Spanish club. Um, so we're always looking for new ideas and, um, and we want to continue meeting the needs and interests of our students. Um, so we will continue exploring new ideas and offering um, different types of clubs and activities after school. We know that's very important to have a well-rounded you know, a child is to make sure that we are, you know, looking beyond um, the academics um, and our regular school day. Okay, next we're going to move on to uh, parent partnerships. And I will be again asking Mrs. Panthe some questions and she will be responding. 
does your school have a PTO? We have PAC. The Parent Advisory Council is organized for the purpose of supporting and enhancing the educational experiences of the students of Discovery Charter School by providing an organization through which the parents, school, and teachers can work together cooperatively. Providing financial support for the programs funded outside of the annual school budget, PAC works directly with administration to provide a family-friendly learning environment, coordinating volunteers and parties and helping with parties and special events. Next question, please. What opportunities are there to be involved for our families during the school day? Here at Discovery, we absolutely love volunteers. Uh, there are many ways to help out our school such as chaperones are welcome on all learning experiences that we partake in. Um, you can volunteer to help with the car line, both at arrival and dismissal. Um, classroom volunteers, copying for your child's classroom teacher or assisting with other teachers um, and assisting with classroom centers is also very helpful to the teachers. Next question, please. What opportunities are there to be involved outside of the school day? We have fundraising opportunities that parents can get involved with. Um, we have stakeholder input that's available. Um, parents are always welcome to attend board meetings um, and have this open discussion with both administrators and board members. And of course, attend school functions like we have Fall Fest that we normally offer. Again, COVID has put some damper on things, so we haven't been um, as accessible. But moving forward, um, we hope to implement these activities again um, and welcome parents with open arms, of course. So that was our last question. At this time, Mrs. Moore, will you please stop recording um, and we can discuss any additional questions